Welcome to the FT. Our guest here today in our New York office is Colombia's Finance Minister, Mauricio Cárdenas. Colombia has experienced an impressive comeback in the past decades or so from the sort of like nearly fell, failed state status. And one of the reasons was because you, your country, took advantage of the commodities boom of the past decade. But commodity prices are down now. So how strong are the headwinds for Colombia, which is still very heavily reliant on oil? We're prepared. We knew that the commodities boom was temporary. Uh, we didn't know exactly when and how and how fast it was going to end, but we knew it was going to end. So we began preparing for this new phase some time ago. How? by introducing a fiscal rule that forced us to reduce the deficit and uh, save, also by preparing uh, an infrastructure program that will take the lead as, uh, as the main source of growth for the economy in the next five years or so. So we are prepared, um, and I think uh, uh, we'll continue to be a successful economy. You've been making an analogy I've heard about Colombia being on top of the wave and now trying to swim through sort of like rougher waters. Could you go in, in depth into, into that and why? What kind of top of the wave were you until last year and what kind of rougher waters are now, are now you have to sail through? Latin America in general was on the top of a wave of high commodity prices and uh, low interest rates. And that helped us move fast. And this was common throughout the, the region. As the wave is fading, um, now it's about swimming. Now it's about knowing how to swim. And that, of course, requires a number of abilities. For example, knowing exactly uh, where you're heading to, having a good and clear sense of direction. Also, not carrying too much weight. That's why countries that have lower debt and lower fiscal deficits will do better. It also takes the ability to have some stabilizers that help you throughout the way. For example, a flexible exchange rate. Colombia has a floating uh, system, and that has resulted in a depreciation of the currency, which helps the manufacturing sector, agriculture, tourism. So not everyone is going to move at the same pace. Uh, Countries like Colombia are well prepared and know how to swim and uh, will move fast, uh, uh, regardless of the fact that we, don't lo we no longer have such a, um, uh, a fast and uh, significant wave. Let's focus on Colombian oil companies for a second. Ecopetrol, the national oil company, I mean the share price of Ecopetrol, the national oil company, which is one of the largest groups in Latin America, has been tumbling for over a year now. Pacific Rubiales, which is Colombia's largest independent oil producer, is in dire straits. There's even talk of an imminent sale. And your government needs oil revenues. What's your plan to offset the losses and what's going on right now in Colombia in terms of, of oil companies? Well, we'll continue to invest heavily through Ecopetrol. Ecopetrol has a large capex budget and m most of it is for exploration in Colombia. With the other oil companies, will be supported, flexibilizing uh, contracts with the National Hydrocarbons Agency. We'll also help them uh, become more competitive by expediting licensing, environmental, social. So the country is now much more aware of the need to support the oil sector. And we'll make every possible effort to make sure that we um, uh, find more oil, we increase our reserves, and we keep our production at levels over a million barrels per day. And what about this, this, is, this, is a, this is talk of a, of a sale of Pacific Rubiales? Well, it's public. Uh, Grupo Alfa, who owns 19% uh, of uh, Pacific Rubiales, which is listed in the Toronto Stock Exchange, is interested in, uh, um, in buying the company. Uh, we see Grupo Alfa as a very serious, um, respected um, industrial group in Mexico. Uh, we're very, very welcoming of the news uh, that they're interested in, uh, in acquiring uh, Pacific Royales. They have expressed to us their interest in continuing uh, their operation based in Colombia uh, with an international outreach, including Mexico. And that's you know, very welcoming news for us in the government of Colombia. 
Minister Cardenas, thank you very much. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you.